I probably can't monetize this video now, but I'm okay with that for the sake of this joke. There, now you see more of me than anybody has of Kate Middleton the last few months. If this was two years ago, I guess I would have had to have had somebody slap me across the face for the joke. Just... Oh! Why does the Oscar look like a pregnant woman holding their baby bump? <laughs> so you've probably seen or not seen in John Cena's case, the biggest events from the Oscars. Some of 2023's biggest movies such as Oppenheimer and Barbie were celebrated. Ryan Gosling will never beat Matt Hancock's version, I'm sorry. No, I'm kidding, f*** that wanker. Hosting the event was once again talk show host Jimmy Fallon Kimmel. Not everyone is a fan of him, from what I can gather from across the pond. Not all of his jokes landed and seemed really random. Is that an acceptance speech in your pocket, or do you just have a very rectangular penis? <laughs> he kind of stayed on RDJ just too long, and honestly, it got to the point where I thought he was just trying to bait him so that he could be the next Chris Rock. He had his buddy Guillermo interview people on the red carpet. You were in the movie Private Parts, right? Yeah. yeah. What is your favorite private part? Oh, which one? Well, the main one. The main <laughs> unit is my favorite one. Oh, yeah? My own. Yeah. Hey, you have a name or what do you call no, it? No, I don't call it anything. I call mine the love length. He goes nameless. Oh, yeah? He's, yeah, he's, he's a man of mystery. I can't believe he doesn't call his the rhino. Celebrating the best of the best, beginning with the biggest movie of the year, Barbie. What an achievement to take a plastic doll nobody even liked anymore. Ariana Grande? All of the biggest stars were out on show. Here we have one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and Dwayne Johnson. To the top rope! I said it before! Yeah. Dead ah. body slide. The legend that is Robert Downey Jr. deservedly won his Oscar. I'd like to thank my terrible childhood <laughs> and the Academy in that order. His nemesis from Iron Man 2, Sam Rockwell, presented him with this award, and I'm so disappointed that he didn't enter the stage like this. Yeah! What I'm talking about. I'd like to thank my I'm a veterinarian, I meant wife. Susan Downey over there. I'm sorry, Robert, but my brain is always going to tell me to call her Susan Downey Jr. I just got a, a review, and um, has there ever been a worse host than Jimmy Kimmel at the Oscars? <laughs> His opening was that of a less than average person trying too hard to be something which he is not and never can be. <laughs> Get rid of Kimmel and perhaps replace him with another washed up but cheap ABC talent. George Slopinopoulos. He would make everybody on stage look bigger, stronger, and more glamorous. Blah, blah, blah. Make America great again. <laughs> well, thank you, President Trump. Um, thank you for watching. I'm surprised you're still watching. Isn't it past your jail time? Yeah, maybe it's a Jimmy thing, because I, I got one too. James Ryan is the worst YouTuber I have ever seen. Why can't we have somebody more connected to celebrities who understands the culture like my friend Jeffrey? P.S. I never met that girl, and it was Kate who doctored the photo of me with her. Yes, thank you, Prince Andrew, but isn't it past your jail time too? Here to present the Oscars for Outstanding Original Score and... Wait a minute. Oh my God. What is that? It's the end of... Please welcome Ariana Grande and two-time Oscar nominee Cynthia Erivo. This is such a random thought, but my brain just went, he sounds like Tim Allen in that scene in one of the Santa Claus movies. Papa Gigio. Cynthia Erivo. And a great film score can even leave a handprint on our hearts forever. It can ignite wonder and astonishment, make us feel sadness and longing, and can even transport us to new worlds. Ooh, ooh. Leave a handprint on our hearts forever. I don't know about handprint, she's got heart prints on her chest. Why do they all look like Russian dolls in the wrong order? <laughs> I don't know if the tall ones make the short ones look shorter, or the short ones make the tall ones look taller. Speaking of... Papa Gigio. He presented the Best Picture Award. <laughs> Al Pacino is definitely going down in history as one of the best slash worst award presentations ever. And... Uh... I have to go to the envelope for that, and I will. 
Here it comes. <laughs> and Maria is C. Oppenheimer. Yes. Yes, Emma Thomas, Charles Rogan. What happened? Does anybody else think he speaks and acts just like the mum from Ted? <laughs> I have to go to the envelope for that. One of the girls who used to make fun of me, her name was Margie Cronin. And I will. I saw in the flatware department at Bradley's, and I saw that she'd lost a hand. Here it comes. Maybe this Christmas I should make her a mitten. And Maria is C. Oppenheimer. And to my parents up there, thank you for giving me guitars and drum machines instead of video games. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I thought he meant they died. <laughs> they literally just sat up there. <laughs> The greats go above and beyond in their commitment to a role. Nicolas Cage, of course, winning his Oscar for Ghost Rider 2, Ride My Vengeance Tonight, or something. You're a bad man. And this thing, the writer, he feeds on them and he's hungry. He's hungrier than he's been years, and that's why I'm shaking. Scraping at the door. Scraping at the door. This past year, Paul Giamatti was so committed uh, for the character to have a lazy eye, he wore a soft contact lens during the entire shoot, which made him blind in that eye while filming. <laughs> Would I have done that? Hell yes. But the point is, you did do it, Paul. And you were brilliant again. Paul Giamatti, of course, is an Oscar winner already for his performance in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. <laughs> Killian Murphy. The boy who lived, come to die. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. That is what he sounded like. Bloody hell, I thought that was Harvey Weinstein for a minute. <laughs> John Cena being naked is probably the most memorable part of the night. Kind of awkward for his ex-fiance in the crowd, though. Now, the obvious joke here is that he's doing this because he's presenting the award for best costume design. What you may not have known, though, and what I didn't know until I started researching this video, is that this was a skit intended to mark the 50th anniversary of what happened at the 1974 Oscars. And someone, quite likely... <laughs> probably the only laugh that man will ever get in his life is by stripping off and showing his shortcomings. And just for the record, Cena was wearing a little pouch thing. <laughs> I wasn't. Some people are just more committed to acting than others. I said it. I said it. But obviously he did that just in case there was a wardrobe malfunction and we actually did see him for the first time. Emma Stone did actually have one. She joked about how the back of her dress was ripped during her acceptance speech for the best actress for the movie Poor Things. Costumes. They're not easy, eh? Yeah, I'll make Jimmy Kimmel look funny. I'll tell you what was funny though. Arnold and I are presenting tonight together for a very obvious reason. We both tried to kill Batman. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we both tried. I, I, as the penguin in Batman Returns. And that was Mr. Freeze in Batman and Robin. Yeah. I can't help but laugh that Batman and Robin got some small woos from the crowd. I don't know many other movies where the director has had to come out and apologize for making it. If there's anybody watching this that, let's say, loved Batman Forever and went into Batman and Robin with great anticipation, if I, if I disappointed them in any way, then I really want to apologize, because it wasn't my intention. My intention was just to entertain them. How did Batman beat you? Oh, he used uh, my one weakness against me. Heat? Love. Oh. He threw me out a window. Oh yeah! <laughs> you are pretty easy to throw, to be fair, Danny. Bad man, that son of a bitch. Where is he? Yeah. He's mean, here. I hate him. There he is. I hate him. He's right here. He's right here. Look. You have a lot of nerve to show your face no, around yeah, here. You got, you know. Son of a bitch. You are a real beak breaker. God. I'm gonna see you after the governor's ball. You better believe it. Pal. I'd have loved it so much if it just panned to Michael Keaton and he just sat there wearing his old school Batman suit. I hate him. There he is. I hate... He's right here. He did say though on Kibble later that he did do a minor wardrobe change for this. I brought along an ascot. <laughs> you yeah. did bring it. Yeah, ascot. yeah. Wardrobe change. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Because I thought 
If I, uh, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to Bruce Wayne it up a little bit. Yeah, know? right. Yeah, because I figured people just saw me on stage. That's and a went, nice little touch. Nice touch, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How many Look at these two. They could be twins. What a night for DC fans, though, huh? You've got Mr. Freeze, the Penguin, Batman, Harley Quinn, Peacemaker, the Scarecrow winning Best Actor, Billy Eilish dressing like Alfred's daughter from Batman and Robin, Deadshot. Oh, right, no, never mind. Hang on a minute. Arnold didn't even face Keaton's Batman, it was George Clooney's. Seven million. Oh well, we're all happy to forget that version of Batman existed, let's be honest. Before we get to the true star of the night, Messi. Another big thing that happened was Christopher Nolan winning his first ever Oscar, and then the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song playing him off the stage. Thank you very much. Why you ask? No clue. Not a Scooby-Doo. <laughs> I couldn't find any reason or connection there. I mean, it was something they did all night, to be honest, because this guy did a very passionate speech about wishing he'd never had to make the documentary on the war in Ukraine. And then they played him off stage with this. Thanks to Ukraine. Slava Ukraini. <laughs> yeah, some weird choices for sure. <laughs> Madam Webb got some stick too. This night is full of enormous talent and untold potential, but so was Madam Webb, so who knows? Some people say that the silent era was the golden era of film. These people are difficult and insane. <laughs> Without sound, we wouldn't have been able to hear such classic lines as, you're gonna need a bigger boat, I'll have what she's having. And he was in the Amazon with my mother when she was researching spiders just before she died. And one of my favourite moments was genuinely the acknowledgement of Barbie Heimer from Ryan Gosling and Emily Blunt. Yeah, luckily her name is Blunt and not Bunt, because otherwise I would have made that mistake that that news reporter did last week. She spoke to Mr. Mr. Hunt, how did he respond? Hello, Emily. Wow. Bit of a frosty hello. Didn't... Not at all. No, I'm just happy that we can finally uh, put this Barbenheimer rivalry behind us. That's right. Just leaving all that fodder in the dust, exactly. guys, right? And the way this award season's turned out wasn't that much of a rivalry, so Ooh. just let it go. But you know, I, I think I kind of figured out why they call it Barbenheimer and they didn't call it Oppen Barbie. Why? Well, I think you guys are at the tail end of that because you were riding Barbie's coattails all summer. Thanks for Ken explaining that to me. <laughs> Mister, I need to paint my abs on to get nominated. You don't see Robert Downey doing that. You're kidding. Robert You're Downey kidding. This is nominated. insane, Emily. This has got to stop. We have to squash this. We're here to celebrate the stunt community. Massively, yes. Let's be honest. A lot of people in the crowd are probably members of the community. Okay, so to the star of the night, move over, Leo. You're now the second best Messi. Where is he? Messi, who, even though he's a dog, may have given the performance of the year in Anatomy of a Fall. Messi has an overdose scene. If you've seen it, you know it is incredible. Let's be honest here. He's probably taken what would have been Will Smith's seat. He's even wearing his little bow tie look. <laughs> Give him all the Oscars. I love him. How could you not? To be fair, he did actually act in the movie that he was in, Anatomy of a Fall. Oh, he's yeah. got the tongue. He knows to do it. Uh -huh. après, le, le you okay. can lift his body. Oh, yeah, he, he, he's <laughs> acting like dead weight. Dogs are incredible, man. We're, we're so blessed to have them with us on this planet, honestly. Don't, don't tell my cats I said that. One of the things that went viral, too, was Ryan Gosling's reaction to seeing the dog clapping. Just as John Cena said. Costumes. <laughs> they are so important. John Krasinski and Emily Blunt look like they're just at their own wedding. <laughs> We've got Ariana Grande over here wearing an inflatable cock and balls for some reason. <laughs> I feel like this is what I would do. I would just take my duvet and then just say it's a dress. She looks great, obviously, but it's just so funny to me that it's just a dress and then a load of airbags. <laughs> Sandra Huller looks like she flew here herself with those wigs. I mean, this guy's thinking it too. I don't know who Mary Steinberg is. She looks great too. But I feel like the, that right there is going to be displaying her vitals throughout the night. <laughs> oh no, I'd be way too worried about this. This would cause some embarrassing moment for me, 100%. Oh, that looks great! 
This photo makes her look like she has a servant who has to like hold her dress up all night long. <laughs> like like tea bags pocket and prison break. I'll protect you. All you gotta do is take this pocket right here. Margot Robbie just looks awful. I mean honestly, look at the state of her. Everyone thinks she's this gorgeous like woman, but honestly, I, I can't see it. Look how horrible she looks in this outfit. Please take the sarcasm, don't attack me. Okay, not gonna lie, I planned this segment thinking that a lot of people will be wearing like outlandish and just outrageous outfits. I thought it'd be really easy to make fun of, but pretty much everyone looks great. <laughs> Although I don't know where this dress ends and the carpet starts. This guy's applauding it though. <laughs> the Rock here with his natural skin colour of stone. Oh yeah, the Godzilla Minus One crew were nominated for best visual effects and then rocked up in these literal monster heels. Billie Eilish just looks like she came off the set of some Trinigan's movie. I mean, obviously, the internet's going to have its own reaction though. First look at Killian Murphy in the Mrs. Doubtfire remake. Everyone wake up, there's a new Emma Stone reaction clip. She saw the iCarly car, so yeah. Okay, it's okay. Oh my god, oh my god, it's iCarly. It's iCarly. Oh, I need pics. I need pics right now. I need pics. Oh, 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 smile. Girls, you're my favorite smile. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, hey, you're on my app. Oh my god, I want to be here. Smile. Where's Gibby? Oh, he's in the men's room. Oh, John Cena spoke about his recent Oscar 2024 controversy. I knew they could f***ing see me. <laughs> we live in a society. Oh god, yeah, Billie Eilish has more Oscars than Martin Scorsese and his dog, who wears amazing glasses. She has more than Leo too, no? <laughs> There's a real trend right now with people making everything that happens into Lego, huh? I'll know when I've made it when somebody makes a Lego version of one of my YouTube videos. <laughs> We're not talking about this enough, lol. Laverne Cox and Marley Matlin at the Oscars. How has the ceremony changed? How has award season changed since you won your Oscar all those years ago? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the way she pushes it back, though. To be fair, it's probably habit. Oh, God. Dwayne Johnson being contractually obligated to never lose in a fight makes this clip so much funnier because he can't handle it. <laughs> rock, paper, scissors. <gasps> I won! Well, no, yeah, you see, what, it's wait. supposed to be rock, paper, scissors, go. Oh, what? What kind of bullshit No, sorry, is this? I, think I, just, I just think I won. <laughs> you just <But> cheated. <laughs> oh, man. How can The Rock lose at rock, paper, scissors? Unusually strong showing for Arkham Asylum in Hollywood tonight. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Billie Eilish walking past 15 time loser Diane Warren when she wins her second Oscar later tonight. Oh, God. <laughs> what is that clip, though? <laughs> what the hell? She really did just play herself in You Don't Mess With The Zohan, huh? I love you. I find you, Mariah. I come to where you are. I, I love you too, horny little man. Buy my new album. True Barrymore interviewing a celebrity. <laughs> oh my god, I thought she died then, man. <laughs> you know. Oh, you know what you were doing, baiting engagement with this tweet, huh? All day my brain has been saying put John Cena in love actually, so I did and now I can relax. Oh no. Oh, hi. Who is it? Who is it? Can you imagine that? <laughs> And it looks like the card says Biden. Okay, not gonna lie. Normally, I feel like I have a lot more funny tweets in these Internet React videos. But because it was the Oscars and you know what Twitter's like, it was mainly people just standing their favourite celebrities and being really happy for them. <laughs> Here in the UK, though, I did see a lot of tweets about people moaning about ITV's coverage of the Oscars. This, this killed me. <laughs> Someone on the... Someone on ITV just compared Killers of the Flower Moon to Emmerdale. <laughs> Emmerdale! I mean, if you want to see some Oscar-level acting here in the UK, never look no further than Hollyoaks. Finally. I was beginning to think you'd forgot about. What did Mum say? Probably stop whinging. 
true. That was Trish. Heartbroken. She thought she was about to get engaged. Couldn't have been further from the truth. Well, that's made my day, that. There'll be nothing compared to what we've got planned for her. You know why TV coverage is bad when Ross somehow manages to mispronounce John Cena live on air? <laughs> I haven't seen anybody do that since Santino Morella. You have a big mouth, John Cena. John Cena. In all seriousness, for a moment, I thought there were some really nice moments at this year's Oscars. I thought some of the speeches were very touching at times, and I really liked that the nominees got given their flowers even if they didn't win. I usually subscribe to the Ricky Gervais way of thinking when it comes to these like celebrity award things. If you do win an award tonight, don't use it as a, a platform to make a political speech, right? You're in no position to lecture the public about anything. You know nothing about the real world. Most of you spent less time in school than Greta Thunberg. So, if you win, right, come up, accept your little award, thank your agent and your god, and... I've got to be honest, there's some things I really liked. Am I getting soft in my old age? I, I enjoyed the vibe of the show quite a bit this year, and there were some really nice, wholesome moments. During the show, Oscars were also presented for animated short film, War is Over. For visual effects, Godzilla Minus One. For film editing, Oppenheimer. For documentary short film, The Last Repair Shop. For best YouTube video on the awards, James Ryan. I'm Naked Again, so make sure you like this video, drop a subscribe, and let me know down in the comments below if you think I missed anything about the Oscars, what your favourite part of the Oscars is, or if you want to see me naked in future videos, which won't happen anyway. But hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Fully clothed. I don't believe in destiny. I just do what's best for me. Don't listen to my enemies. They're just full of jealousy. Yeah, this legacy. You gon' see what's left of me. You gon' see success in me. You ain't seen the rest of me. I just want to be the best at what I know. Better than the rest, just watch me grow. Put me to the test and watch me go. This is my quest, I'ma make it known. They call me obsessive, oh I know. Call me selective with my nose.